do, everybody? Welcome to Variety Conversation. I am Lady Walker. Here we go again. Oh, yes, here we go again. This kind of scenario seems to be a staple in the U.S. with little to no solution rendered. On August the 30th, 2020, the general manager of Hathorne Suites first called the non-emergency line at Temple Police to have two people suspected of conducting illegal activities kicked off the property. Before police arrived, Compion, a black male employee, and Hoover, the white general manager, encountered a white couple smoking something in a stairwell with the door to the exit prop open. The woman left as Hoover told them to leave, but Hoover said the man pulled out a gun, okay? You are going to pull out a gun on me because I tell you to leave my premises. How about that for a doozy? Anywho, Hoover told the man to put the gun away and leave, which he did. Compion, the black male employee who worked the front desk, followed the man to another floor to ensure he left, which he should have done, okay? Then, a Tempe, Arizona police officer, Rana Kurzaya, or as Willie D. of Willie D. Live would say, a raised soldier, a.k.a. white police officer, responded to the call. As the police body cam footage would show that the hotel manager explained to the race soldier what happened and gave the description of the white man who pointed a gun at one of the hotel employees. The race soldier repeatedly asked for the race of the suspect. Is he a white male or black male? Hotel manager answered white male. He's going to be wearing a black shirt, tan pants. The officer then stepped out of the hotel in pursuit to find a suspect. He ran around the building with his gun out, telling two other people in a not-so-friendly way to get the heck out of the area. Then a black hotel employee stepped out a door, and the officer began to hold him at gunpoint. The black man said to the race soldier, I work here, front desk worker. The officer says, I am responding to somebody with a firearm who matches your description. Get that, beloved, who matches your description. Bear in mind that the hotel manager said that it was a white man, okay? But the officer said that he was responding to somebody with a firearm who matches the black male's description. <laughs> oh, my word. And he demanded to see the black male's ID. Okay. They argue, Compian, his hands up in the air, told the officer to put the gun down. And he denied wrongdoing because, y'all, he did nothing wrong. Okay. Compian says to the officer, where are your supervisor at? You are going to shoot me? I'm going to be another person on the news? And he continued to deny wrongdoing. Get on your knees, said Kurzaya, and shut the blippity bleak 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 up with that blippity bleak bleak bleak. He didn't want to hear what Compian was saying to him, okay? <laughs> he eventually let Compian go after bearing firing that the man worked there and bid Compian a great afternoon. How about that? You are going to have your gun drawn on me and when you find out that, hey, I am not the suspect and that I do work here, then you got the audacity to bid me a great afternoon. <laughs> oh, well. The officer also confronted two other black men in the hotel who he blasted for being in his way, okay? The manager, who was white, called out the officer when they next saw one another. Compian was clearly not bleeping white, he said. Needless to say, the armed white suspect was not found, okay? Back in 2019, this race soldier, Ronald Kurzaya, tased an unarmed black man who was holding a one-year-old baby. 
Police said his actions were within policy, but he had to take mandatory retraining. Okay, he had to take mandatory retraining. Now, that's another story that I am not going to get into at this time. But I can tell you this, a lawsuit has been filed against Kurzaya and the city of Tempe in the Oakery case. The notice of claim, which serves as a precursor to a lawsuit, specifically questioned Tempe police's tactics and use of force training, describing them as fear-based training that creates a culture where officers are taught Use force without hesitation instead of utilizing de-escalation tactics. Kurzaya is currently in an administrative role after the hotel incident. And y'all, I'm pretty sure he is happy about that because it is somewhat easy. The Professional Standards Bureau is conducting an internal investigation into this incident to deconstruct the manner and behavior in which Officer the race soldier Kurzaya responded to this call for service, and appropriate action will be taken to correct any deficiencies, they say, which means he will only get a slap on the wrist like he knew he would. Now, this is the kind of stuff some of the race soldiers do and gladly hightail it back to their buddies and colleagues to brag about how they degrade it and put fear in the black man or the black woman. Ain't that a jacked up doozy? Well, let's see what some of you commenters think about this situation. Ebony Love R007 says, the so-called training doesn't stop a thing. Just look at all the cases of murder since George Floyd. That shows you right there that nothing has changed but the date on the calendar. Unknown says, retraining is just teaching them new lies. We need a whole different system that doesn't have white men in any position of this kind of work. Period. And that goes for politicians too. You better say it, Unknown. You better say it. First Lady of YouTube says, this is what they have always done. They don't mind paying a settlement as long as they can remain the same. Carlton Sterling says, they never pay for a settlement. Your tax dollars do. Anita Winston says, these KKK people are all on cold from the bottom of this system to the top of this system. This is the true foundation of America, and they don't plan to change it, no matter who is president. Black people will have to make their changes on their own. Karana Pierre says, they have been on code. It is something that they teach their children at a young age and reiterate it throughout their life. They stay on call in all areas of activity. It's culture and pathological. At the minimum, if black just got on call, we'll be a force with which to be reckoned. Big truck driver says, notice how disrespectful he was. This is why there is such a disconnection between them and civilians. Yes, and I would say... This is why there is such a disconnection between them and black civilians, okay? Always outnumbered, but never outgunned, says, I bet they won't even bother to look for the white dude. Yep, your bet will probably be right. Tabs T says, this happened forever. It's just that there's cameras now. Exactly, and thank God for the cameras, okay? Spatter879 says, he fits the description to a T. He's black like that. Anita Winston says again, it's actually a thing in the history of slavery. Nothing has changed. It's been documented that torturing and killing slaves was also a sport. Now, that is something. It was a sport to torture and kill slaves. London Beats says, if you are black, you always fit the description. Raul Izzard says, I've been saying this from day one. This is purely hatred and nothing to do with training. 
And I would say exactly how much training will these police officers need in 12 weeks of training? Surely they should know how to de-escalate situation instead of killing somebody. Okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure a big portion of it when it comes to various police officers, it has to do with hate. Okay. It has to do with this culture, this white supremacy culture, the KKK culture. Mm-hmm. Lovely love says they live to hate us. This happens all too often. I want to see this on the world news along with the firing of this devil's pawn. Well, I would say this lovely love. He will not be fired. Okay. He will not be fired. Chief Slim Cat says, I am from Phoenix and Tempe is a stone throw for me. So I know this department well, nothing new. Being racially profiled is a part of their policy, despite being told the description of the suspect. Shaking my head. Billy Williams says, the media and entertainment industries have portrayed black people negatively since we were kidnapped and brought to this country. They have taught and programmed people to fear and hate us. This has been taught by the powers that be and has contributed to the hate of black people and caused countless death and tragedies. I concur, Billy. I concur. I got to tell you like the T's, the T-I-S. Everybody black stopped by the police for whatever reason is not a criminal. Yet many of them are treated like a criminal. They are treated with disdain. They are treated like inferior human beings. And last but not least, they are treated like the scum of the earth. Okay? So, there you have it, beloveds. Let me know what your perspective is on the situation. And in the meantime, y'all come back to visit me when you can. Okie doke. Ta-ta.